Wow. So let's just get into the actual zooming. So this is the gold and you can see there's the LiDAR scanner there. So what we have here is an iPhone 12 Pro in gold and an AirPod uh, 2. Uh, so you guys might be thinking, hang on a second LCB Tech, I thought you hated Apple products and iPhones. And it is true, especially this year, um, the design of iPhone 12 is just ridiculous. It just resembles iPhone 4. Now, um, there are several good reasons why I got it uh, in the end though. But before I get into, into the details, let's do the unboxing. And this is actually for my wife's uh, phone. So I'll let her do the honor. So here it goes. Nice. And the moment of truth. Wow. So let's just get into the actual zooming. So this is the gold. And you can see there's the LiDAR scanner there. Okay. Sorry. Now, what is that for? Whoa. Okay. So, um, screen is out. Let's see the edge. Sorry. Look at that. That's really shiny gold. It's like holding a piece of gold on the side. It's like Escobar 3. <laughs> Escobar Gold 2. Okay. To you. Oh, she shouldn't drop it like that. Designed by Apple in California. What's inside here? Ah, sticker from Apple. Just a quick note, if you want to pause and have a quick look on this. And lastly, the pin. Um, do you want to take that out? And pretty much the cable. Is that it? That's it. Nothing else. So this doesn't come out. Okay, so if you look at the edge, there's the SIM card slot there, volume up and down, uh, the lock button there, and the glorious three lenses with the um, li LiDAR sensor and the flashlight. On the other side, this is the on and off button, isn't it? And is there anything else on the top? No, other than that line and two speakers and the charging cable slot there. So we've got 10S here with the new uh, iPhone 12 Pro. The thickness wise is thicker, interesting. Obviously the lens, these are both kind of pinky kind of gold, slightly whiter. And the size, I don't know whether you can see, uh, 12 is slightly taller. Now, immediately what I can see from the back side of the finish is that iPhone XS, not sure about uh, 11, but uh, is grease prone. So you can see all the fingerprints actually um, easily marked. While as this one, it's like a matte finish, so it's quite clean. And also the Apple uh, sign is less revealing, which is quite cool actually, because this is too obvious while well, this one is more professionally well settled. So well done Apple for that. But, but for the um, edge side, obviously we can see a lot of fingerprints immediately uh, being shown as you touch it around. So I'm not sure if you're gonna be happy with that. So let's put in the new SIM card. It's a bit of a push here, I have to admit. So the SIM card is in. Right. Oh, hola. Hola, senor. Swipe up to open. English? Okay. Select your country, United Kingdom. Ah. Setting language. Quick start. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near to this phone and sign in and set up. Okay. Near. Oh, 
That was clever, look at that. Unlock to continue, okay. Set up new iPhone, continue. That was quite cool. Connect. Okay, so that was really cool. So the circle, blue circle, is now on the circle. Enter the passcode of your other phone. So um, I'm gonna do that. Few, it may take a few minutes to activate your phone. That's fine, but um, all you need to do is just bring your phone near to your, well, the previous phone to your new phone and it just does it automatically. That's really good. Well done. I mean, there's a fear about people saying, well, I can't do this new setup. I'm so fearful, like my wife, but it's pretty straightforward. Face ID. So I'm going to let my wife to do the honor. So that was pretty cool. Um, all the face ID is set up. I mean, this is the thing. It's so easy to set up. All you need to do is face ID nowadays and it's pretty, pretty much done. So I think, okay. So Apple Pay. Okay, so let's do the Apple Pay as well. iPhone 12 is asking for Apple to be, um, Apple Watch to be registered. So continue, improve, share audio recordings, whatever, share. Transferring from data from wife's phone. Okay. All right, look at that. It's all straightforward. We all know this anyway. This is um, AirPod, uh, two, AirPods 2. Let's actually focus on ASMR for this. Nice. Ah, oh, look at that. AirPods. Okay, unlock to connect. Please unlock. Connecting. Nice. Yes, use Siri. Continue. Done. Nice. Well done. So size-wise, obviously, it's a typical iPhone. Um, and I have to say, this greatly reminds me of iPhone 4 that I used to love uh, using it until Steve Jobs passed away and iPhone has gone downhill. That's my interpretation of the progress of Apple. But anyway, um, yeah, the, the thickness comparing to the Galaxy S20 Ultra, I would say it's almost similar. Maybe it's an eye illusion because the curved edge of Galaxy S20 Ultra, but it's much bigger screen as you can see. So I'm <laughs> hugely favored to my Android uh, Samsung phone. Now, um, when it comes to the biggest reason why I got it for my, for this for my wife is that uh, she's been paying 67 pounds per month for the 20 month, 24 month contract on our network provider. And um, we've been giving a really good deal where she only needs to pay now 53 pounds per month for 20 month, 24 month contract. Um, which is 14 pounds cheaper per month. Um, I mean, if we were to go to the iPhone 12 without a Pro, it'll be 51 pounds, so two pounds of a difference. So if you just pay two pounds more per month, immediately you get an iPhone 12 Pro. So I think we made a really good decision. The reason it's gold, you saw the comparison between the 10s, uh, which was gold. So just color, color following that theme. Now, so the biggest reason for me is that you can see this tiny dot here, which is called the LiDAR sensor. I've been monitoring LiDAR sensor for many, many years because I come from an architectural background. I provide a business where a very accurate floor plan for either domestic and commercial purpose. And uh, my, my biggest uh, desire for this business is to provide most accurate floor plan all the way down to the single digit of millimeters. So um, I was, monitoring the LiDAR sensor and one thing I want to hugely thank um, Apple is that they have actually popularized LiDAR sensor and we know that LiDAR sensor could be used for self-driving cars and etc. So I, it's a very interesting technology where I've been I will be monitoring for many many years and um, 
What I'm planning to do is hopefully borrow this when I go on site to do some check measurements all the way to the span of 20 to 30 meters to see how accurate the floor plan could be measured by using the LiDAR sensor and then transfer that into the AutoCAD that hopefully I'll be able to work on the Samsung DeX or my desktop AutoCAD um, software to provide a very accurate floor plan. So I'm sure I'll make a video out of it for those architects or AutoCAD enthusiasts out there. So um, yes, that's about it actually. But other than that, well, it's an iPhone. It, they haven't got any foldable phone. Um, price wise, I mean, people got used to the thousand pounds margin now. So, but I, I mean, it's, it's just an iPhone, that's all I can say. But let's see how the LiDAR sensor works. Anyway, if you have any further queries, please do comment below. Thank you for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Hope you have a lovely day. All the best. Bye bye.